Hello, I'm Jen Waltman from the Philips DynaLite training team, and I'm going to demonstrate the Envision Project commissioning process for the DLL-I8-I80 dry contact interface. The commissioning process is quite similar to commissioning other DynaLite devices. Let's have a look at the steps for commissioning with the latest EP version, 3.7.10.2759. First, open a new or existing project file in Envision Project. Select the job or create a new one and give it a name. Next, connect to the Dynet network. Once you've connected EP to the Dynet network, physically connect the DLL-I8-I80 to Dynet as well. Here's a picture of the DLL-I8-I80 with connections from the DC and LED connectors to the DC and LED terminals and LED indicator lamps. With the Network tab open, click on the Insert Devices from Network button. With the Discover Devices tab open, the Dry Contact device should appear in the Discover Devices tab window. If this is the first time you're adding the DLL-I8-I80 to the network, click Add Devices. However, if you've pre-configured the DLL-I8-I80, you'll want to click on the Add and Load Devices button. The device now appears in the network view. You can now close out of the Insert Devices from Network window. Next, we're going to assign a logical area and logical channels to the eight inputs on the DLL-I8-I80. In this example, we will assign a customed press release function for each of the eight switch buttons that correspond to the eight inputs. Once you've selected the DLL-I8-I80 in the Network tab, click on the Switches tab. While in the Switches tab, ensure that the indicator LEDs on the device are enabled by selecting Enabled under the General, then Button drop-down. For Button 1, we'll select the function to be Custom. When we press the button, we want to achieve a target light level of 100%, so we'll need to modify the press actions to a channel level percentage of 100%. A new window will appear, and here you'll select a new action and then select channel level action. Under the channel level action section, we will assign the target level of 100% target light level and then press OK. Now back under function, select the release actions option again, click on modify, select new, and then channel level but this time we'll type in a zero as we want the target level to go to 0% when the button is released. In our example, we're configuring the rest of the buttons to have the same press release action functions. To do this, you can just right click to copy the settings in the button, then select the rest of the buttons and again right click to paste the same settings. Next, we'll select all eight buttons and assign them to one logical area. We'll use Area 3 for this example. To do this, select all eight buttons by clicking on Button 1, and then while pressing Shift on your keyboard, drag your mouse over all eight buttons. Then, under Logical Area, remove an assigned area and type in the number 3, then press Enter. Assign each button to a logical channel. So assign button 1 to channel 1, button 2 to channel 2, and so on. Just click on the button, and then next to the logical channel box, remove what is ever in the box, and then type in the number of the logical channel. Once each button has been assigned to a logical channel, be sure to save your custom settings by right-clicking on the device and then selecting Save to Device by selecting the Save to Device button, or by selecting the DLL-I8-I80 and then pressing F12. Check the network log to ensure that the data is saved on the device. Lastly, be sure to manually perform the press release actions on the eight buttons, switching them on and off, to check that the eight inputs are working by watching each LED indicator lighting up. Upon success of these tests, 
the DLL-I8I80 dry contact interface will then be commissioned in Envision Project. Thanks for watching.